What up guys? So today I'm going to be opening the Google Nest Wi-Fi. So this video is tailored for my subscribers who want to know more about the stream equipment that I use. Uh, so particularly it's for the Google Home Nest Wi-Fi to upgrade my network but it works for I mean it's, it's just a generic video for anybody who's looking into upgrading their internet to a uh, mesh network as opposed to the traditional type uh, with uh, Wi-Fi extenders so you'll see in this video why I recommend the Google Nest Wi-Fi as a mesh network as opposed to other brands um, and it's mainly because of integration and the fact that it's got speakers and you can do lots of other stuff with it and not just actually be a Wi-Fi uh, mesh network. What up guys? So today I'm going to be opening the Google Nest Wi-Fi router and two points. So I'm looking at upgrading uh, my network at home from a traditional modem router plus an extender to this mesh network. Now I've been told many good things about these mesh networks and of course Google Nest Wi-Fi would have compatibility with um, lots of uh, Google uh, products like Google Home and Google Apps and so on. So that's why I've picked the Google Nest Wi-Fi. Comes with two points. I'm, I've been told that even the router itself is really good. That it will reach places that a regular stock uh, router from your ISP. Uh, it would it would reach further than those and it comes with two extenders or well, they're actually called sat satellites and not real extenders the traditional extenders actually give you a new SSID so it receives and then transmits the signal whereas these ones all speak to each other and you only connect to one network um, through any of these points well we'll see what it looks like I'm very excited for this okay so here we go um, what's a good place to start with this I don't want to damage the box, it looks fairly nice. Um, make a little incision there. In case I need to return it if anything goes wrong. It'd be nice to return it in the original box, even though obviously it won't be sealed anymore. Nice box. It's expected of Google. Simple packaging. Nice owls over there. Okay, and how do you open this? Oh, okay, so this is a slot, a lid. Ah, uh, oh, it's a tight seal. Uh, this is actually, oh, ooh, hello. Looks like um, three candles or three, uh, the incense dispensers. So this must be the router because it's a little bit different to the other two. Um, I'm guessing these are microphones that can receive. Uh, oh, oh, it's tiny. I was expecting it to be quite deep and I took it out I'm like, oh, hang on. Absolutely, that's right. And uh, hopefully I've got clean hands because these are very white. Okay. Ooh, wow. Very sleek. I love it. It costs us $500. Eh? We, get the, we got it price matched. That's good. Save 50 bucks. We get the Let's Get Started um, booklet there. And then we take off that first cardboard layer. Very nice hard plastic. Why does it come with this clothy material in there? That's interesting. Well, anyway, let's put that aside. Um, and the cables. It does, oh, does it doesn't come with an ethernet? It might. It might come with an ethernet cable so that we can connect to the modem. Yes, it does. So that's that. So put that aside. Um, and then this is the power outlet. Excellent. Oh, for the power outlet. And hopefully that's exactly the same. It should be. Seems like it would, be, it would make sense to be interchangeable. Um, I don't think there's anything else left in the box. So we're going to have a look. I hope not, because if I chuck this away, it's... I don't think there's anything else. Okay, so I've just taken off the sleeve that binds these cards together. So let's get started. Learn more, okay. Being part of your home means respecting your privacy. Here's how to control your 
privacy on your Google Nest Wi-Fi point. How? Microphones are built into the Nest Wi-Fi. You can use your voice to ask the Google Assistant to help to make calls. Oh, so it does come with the uh, recognition for Google Assistant. Right, you can speak to it. Audio is only sent to Google when you point your text that you're interacting with the Assistant. So when you say, hey, Google, or if you're using a feature that relies on audio, uh, after setting up the a blue or white light underneath, the device indicates your point is sending audio to Google. You can review and delete your query data at any time on the myactivitygoogle.com. How to turn off the microphones. You can actually physically turn them off. Slide the mic switch on the back of your Nest Wi-Fi. So that's for privacy, I guess. This switch, which can be accessed remotely, makes the microphones completely inoperable. When the mics are turned off, you'll see an orange light underneath the point. And of course, press it the other way. Let's have a look and see. So there it is. Okay, so that means it's off. That means it's on. So what's in the Let's Get Started? Plug in your router. Um, plug the power adapter into the router and a wall socket. Um, then connect the router to your modem with the ethernet cable included. Comes with a star, hang on, asterisk box from your service room that brings the internet into your home. Yep. Get the Google Home app. Download the Google Home app on a compatible phone or tablet. Okay, so just any device. Set up your devices. Uh, follow. So, oh, so you have to use Google Home app in order to set up the device. I see. Okay. Very simple, very simple. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's the shortest manual I've ever read. Excellent. Well, hopefully, uh, the setup is just as simple. Now, before you go ahead and actually um, install the router for the Google uh, Wi-Fi, you should look into your regular settings for your uh, original router. So, just so you know what um, uh, your ISP provider's WAN, the WAN setting is with you. Um, so, that, so like for example, the login password, uh, the login na name, and the password. So, mine is a PPPoE, for example. So, you need that information sometimes, I believe, when you set up the Google. Uh, Wi-Fi. Now plug this in, um, and I've uh, obviously connected the. Um, that's in as, as a Uni D1, and plug that into the wall. Then you just download the Google Home app and just let it take you through. It should automatically connect once you get the Google Home app. It will give you. It will automatically connect to the to a Wi-Fi network called setup dot something and uh, it should take you through all the steps once you get through there you also need to input your internet settings um, the WAN settings if it asks you for one and that's it so it will take about 10 20 minutes more to finish setup the one thing is I did notice that as it was updating the connection between the router and the internet was not very good. So I actually turned off the, my Wi-Fi on my phone, on my Google Home app, and just used 4G to download the update and then come back and check on the Wi-Fi. Everything was fine after that. Now at this point, I'm just testing the connection to just a single router. It's, it's uh, about the same as my original network. In fact, the Brovini one. In fact, the original network might even be better. The only difference is, obviously, this is a mesh network that I have not set up the two satellite points yet, which I will now. And once I do, I'll set up one first and see the connection again. It should give it me full bars by then. And then I'll set up the second one and see how we go. So the satellite points actually come with the ability to just become a mini Google Home so you can ask it questions. So for example, okay, Google, what is the best Pokemon? I like wild plumes. They seem so happy. <laughs> that was different to the other answer we had before. It was Dialga. <laughs> okay, Google. What is the best Pokemon? I like Arcanines. They remind me of my puppy. <laughs> Arcanines, they remind... 
What's wrong with you, Google? <laughs> As you can see now, my connection is maxed out. Um, and that's because the, the second point, or the first point, that's not the router, is two windows away about less than 10, five to 10 meters. So it's, it's pretty good. And I'm gonna set up one more to cover up the rest of the house. So the last point will be right next to my computer, right next to my Wi-Fi adapter in the back there. And um, hopefully from now on, I will never have lag again. Okay, so now after testing out the Google Nest Wi-Fi um, all night um, and this morning as well, I am very glad I got this model. In fact, uh, mesh networks, there are many different brands you can get, but not every one of them will have your Google Home options. Uh, so for example, come to the speaker at the bottom, but it still works as like a Google Home. So for example, uh, like I showed you uh, in earlier in the video, you can ask it questions. Or for example, you can play radio stations if you connect it to Spotify. You can also play um, music. It's all very easy through uh, the Pokemon Home Sorry, not Pokemon, the Google Home app. Um, yeah, so even though it's a little bit of a premium, it is, or well, I would highly recommend this to you because it will be able to integrate into the future with uh, other Google Home products that you might buy. Oh, it hears me, that's why it's um, flashing. I'm getting close to it or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, and uh, the Wi Fi signal has significantly improved. I'm going to be testing out the uh, strength and stability today, it's going to be, and I, I think it will be, uh, a lot better than what I'm used to uh, with my Wi-Fi extender. Right, so thank you for watching guys. Um, we are a gaming channel, and if you wanna learn more about the stream equipment that I use, of course, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna join us for any games, uh, that's actually the main stuff that I do. Uh, streaming like Pokemon Sword and Shield giveaway stuff like Super Smash Brothers like you know lots of Nintendo Switch games if you want to join us or watch me play of course also hit the subscribe button and I'll leave a link to our discord channel down below uh, you'll be able to join us for even more information stay notified about changes and uh, new things and so on